You know, guys, it's time for some little butcher insanity. There is no place where you can hide from butcher. With this build, you will take all the loot this game can offer. Hello beautiful and amazing people, bad best of riders, Butcher in the building, warm welcome to my channel and first of riders build guide. And if you are new here, welcome to the family you bastard. Also, please keep in mind that it's really early, it's bad to build, but I can tell you one thing that right now this is super super strong build, it's assassin. And I think this trend will be alive also in full game, so I will give you a general idea how Trickster works, what's the skill tree, what's all about, and how you can make proper build, guys. I will explain everything really easy and simple. Basically, you have four layers how this game operates or how you can make your build. And guys, this is super strong, quite frankly really overpowered because as you see you can kill any boss in this game right now in couple seconds with one magazine. It's super strong and you can farm very easily and efficient with this build guys. So I'm using Trickster. Let's start from the basics, how this game operates. First things first guys, you have to choose your skills. In this game, everything, and I mean everything, evolves around your skills. So please choose wisely, it will determine your playstyle and your skills are tied with your skill tree as well. Basically guys, skill tree is your second layer. For example, if you want to make assassin, like I'm running damage guy who is overpowered, you will invest of course in skills which give you firepower like twisted rounds guys and that will lead us to our third layer and that secondary attribute guys. Basically every gear piece right now goes with armor core attribute, every damn piece is with armor, I don't know, maybe there will be some pieces with multiple core attributes, but right now there is only armor, so please don't pay too much attention to armor, right now it's really not that important, what you need is secondary attribute guys, for example, like I said, we took our skills and I'm using twisted rounds, I will invest in my skill tree in assassin because it will provide us with extra weapon damage or firepower so it leads us to that second attribute which is really important to maximize your potential in your assassin build which I took I have to invest in firepower in second tier attribute firepower but if you would like to make for example face tank build with crowd control options or support build most likely you will take middle part it's all about tankiness and crowd control so your second tier attributes will be between anomaly power and health to be tanky and your skills be more effective but if you will for example run around like crazy with teleport use other skills or blades non-stop you will invest in last part in skill tree to make your skills even stronger and that will lead you again to anomaly power as your second fear attribute you see how everything is tied together skills first layer second layer is your skill theory third layer is that secondary attribute because armor is not important and fourth layer is your talents or mods you name it talents on the gear your talent should benefit you the most or benefit again your skills for example on my mask i'm using twisted fate talent or mod 
to increase my twisted rounds power with crit damage again it works really nice with our assassin skill tree also guys please don't be worried too much about those talents this game tells you very clearly for which skill this or that talent is meant to be it writes you on the screen for which skill for twisted rounds on my chest plate and so on if you can read it you will not mess it up and if you have duplicate or the same talent on other gear piece again the game will tell you it will turn the talent red if you have the same talent on your gear this game tells you very easily like I told you before here you go duplicate the same talent and it tells you that you have equipped the talent and it will show it in red color this game tells you very good job with these indicators but it doesn't tell you how to properly make your sets so guys I'll remind you one more time four layers most important is your skills it will determine your playstyle and skill path skill tree where you will go with assassin first part is assassin damage guy DPS guy I will explain in division 2 terminology DPS all DPS guy second part or middle is all about face tanking and your skills you will be support guy with crown control crowd control so you would like to invest more in health and anomaly power to help your guys apply weakness to your enemies and so on super dope support guy I think it will be really handy at those hardest difficulties with the bosses because in each game we need support guys and third part is of course with your anomalies you can rush in blades and of course you will invest in anomaly power as your second tier attribute so three paths very easy to understand dps one second face tank crowd control support build yep and third one is just anomaly all around skills you will make that build with your skills and uh, you will invest your second tier attributes accordingly and i'm running of course assassin and guys this build right now slaps goddamn slaps everybody left right and center it's really overpowered with twisted rounds i have two blades for one price i can swing left and right with my blade and everyone will be dead in couple seconds i have twisted rounds for two magazines and guys, in this game, automatic shotgun is absolutely ridiculous. That bad boy is super strong. Please look for automatic shotguns. It's really strong. And for second gun, if you're a trickster, you should use, of course, SMG. Basically, close range guns. Close range gun, shotgun, SMG, pistols will be really nice, but automatic shotgun, oh boy, goddamn, it's super, super strong, so look for the shotgun. And for talents, you can play around with your guns, you have some guns which will put on fire nearby enemies, will give you anomaly blasts, will put poison, bleed effect, you name it, even heal you, there are a lot of combinations you can play around those, but like I said, it's really essential to understand how you build your character. Skills, top tier. Your first part, second part is your skill pad, skill tree, third is of course your talents, and third, not talents, sorry, your second tier attributes, and fourth is your talents. So, I hope I explained you something. I think I will make guides uh, every week with each specialization or class before game is out so each week new class and I will try my best to explain how each build works and for what purpose each skill pad is meant to be and uh, I think we're gonna do some nasty things guys and if you don't if you want to dominate see what I am running in this build and see you soon my bastard